Well, I've got another special guest, just a little chat with um, the owner of Playhouse Thailand, winner of uh, Clutter's Best Toy Shop, and one of the organisers of Thailand Toy Exhibition 2016. This is Pear. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Pear. So how, um, how have you found this year? Um, to me, I think this year is one of the greatest year for us because I see a lot of new crowd coming and a lot of new customers who never know about this world before. And I feel like this year we really grow up a lot because I was here since the beginning and we see each process along the way. And this year is the year that I was least involved in and it turns out perfectly. So maybe it's because of me. <laughs> Well, as I know that um, TTE is a family um, organization who brought it up, uh, like your toy shop, um, playhouse, won the award, your mother's the backbone uh, of this event as well as playhouse. Your involvement with Funko, um, how has that broadened your horizon or any future plans? Yes. Um, so for Funko, right now we are really honored that we get to be the distributor of Funko in Thailand. And Funko has brought a new dimension of talk, uh, a new dimension of collectors into the industry. So it's like what Jeep did is Jeep already kind of monopolized the designer toys world. And then I feel like for Playhouse we need more than just designer toys. We need more like local character that everyone is well known and will be loved. So we've been in Funko. That's why me and Jeep, we kind of like um, compromise each other in all ways and we offer more product range to our customers. And since Funko has been a great success in Thailand, we are planning to host another event. So you already know that we host Thailand Thai Expo. Yes. By the end of this year, we're going to have a fan experience event. Fan experience event is event for fans. So we're going to bring in all the celebrities and all the sports stars who has their own pub before oh. to come and then play with the crowd, give signatures to their fans and also like interact with them. Yeah. Yeah. So interaction is the key really, I'm yes. building up both of your brands as yes. well. I mean, how, how much of a hardship has it been to like build up? TTE because this is your fourth year. Right? Yes. Was it hard to build up trust with other companies and all yes. this right? Yes, like um, Jeep might have mentioned earlier that um, we almost didn't have TTE in the first year. It's because like first we have no sponsor and then the plan almost fall apart because we don't have any sponsor, we don't have any budget and we are really new to organizing this kind of event. Plus, no one knows about this toy industry in Thailand before. Collectible toy is something really new in Thailand, especially designer toys. We are used to like playing with hot toys and Marvel mm -hmm. product, or maybe we are like uh, Mattel, mm -hmm. Hasbro, mm -hmm. those has been around yes. for a long time. But then since it's, this is a new market, we decide that, okay, first we have to build on trust. Mm -hmm. We have to gain trust from our, all our distributors, all our retailers. And then second, okay, um, each country has their own way of running business. For example, like if you're running business with foreigners, they only give you one chance. Mm -hmm. If you screw that chance, mm -hmm. you wouldn't yes. have the second chance ever. Yeah, but for Thailand, Thai people are easily forgiven. If you, if you did something wrong, time will heal everything. So I told Jeep that no, we cannot back down on this, mm -hmm. even though we don't have a sponsor. So we talk to our mom and our mom give us the money mm -hmm. and say, mom, this is critical. If Jeep did host this event, he's gonna, he's gonna lose everything he has been building over a year. So we decided, okay, even though we only had a small budget, mm -hmm. we're gonna do with what best with that budget. But it turns out to be really successful. We have over 600,000 attendants within the first year. That's absolutely amazing. Yes. So tell us about Playhouse and the brand itself. Okay. Well, actually the first time we started Playhouse is after the success of the first Thailand Toy Expo. We've got a lot of customers coming to us and say thank you for hosting this kind of event because before this, I feel like I'm an outcast playing toys but I cannot let others know. Mm. Because toys, um, 
a lot of people think of toy as something that can be used with the kids. If adult playing toy, they're gonna like mock yeah. them, like grow up yeah. or something like that. But then by by after this event, it creates a new community, and then like two strangers come and sit and talk to each other, and they can talk for like hours. So a lot of customers come and like, can you host more than one event per year? Yeah. Where we really want to know each other more. We don't know where to go. So that's kind of like, oh yeah, we should do some place that where all the collectors come and hang out. That's kind of the starting of Playhouse. So Playhouse is not just a retail brand or a retail store. It's more like a second house for everyone to come and enjoy their imaginary land together with us. So we we never advertise until our customers to come and buy everything from us. We just said come and play with us. Come to our store. Bring your bring your camera. We are one of the store that allows you to take pictures in every section of our stores. And then we want to enhance all the imaginations and like for some customer they cannot afford all those toys, mm -hmm. but just by coming here and then watching them, it would already makes them happy. So we always kind of emphasize on those things. That's really really great. Mm -hmm. So tell the viewers um, how they can find um, Playhouse. Yes. Okay. So at the moment we have around five branches. Our flagship store would be Playhouse Square One. It's at um, the department store opposite to Paragon called Siam Square One on third floor. Yes. So this is the place where it's a good combination of like the girls and the boys. We have all licensed product, Disney Marvel, Star Wars and also designers toy sections. Second one is the gate at Central World. This is a new concept store that it has a combination of all well-known licensed product. We have Disney Marvel, Star Wars, DC Comics and Japanese characters as well. And then we have Play Cafe. Brand new, just open stores. I just seen that. Yes, one. that one is a combination of a cafe and a toy stores together. So we want, we want all the guys to come and have a place to hang out, actually sit and talk to each other. Yes, and we also have Playhouse store in Chiang Mai. Wow. So it's like one of the capital city of Thailand. Mm -hmm. Yes, and last one we are about to open, but not yet. We're gonna open a store at MBK. Right next to Animate Store. Wow. Yeah, Bangkok just opened the, the really first Animate Store in Thailand. That'll be good. That'll yes. be good. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With the Jude, one of the organizers of Thailand Toy Expo 2016. Um, so, Jude, how did you get to um, establish one of the biggest toy exhibitions in Asia? Um, well, it's quite a long story, but I'll make it short. And, uh, so, like, the beginning, like, I was a toy collector, so I went to many, many places around the world. I met many artists, I know many, many guys. And I was thinking that, why don't we have it in Thailand? Yeah, just boom, let's do it. And then we do it. Without, without having any money. Yeah, we asked the sponsor and no one got a Because one. no one knew what it was, right? Yes, no one knew, so I asked my mom, so she's the main sponsor of the event to pay up front for me. And now, like, there were many people looking down on me, like, 22 years old kid can, can do an exhibition. No one believed it. And they told me that if, they had it, if I have more than 10,000 people, coming to the event, they kind of like beg me on my knees. Yeah. And then, like 40 more of them, they have like 60,000 people coming each day. But during our event, it's increased like twice as much. So like the total for four years, for four days. So, like the first year, it's going to be like 400,000 people. So it's about almost 80% people increase from the department. So, Wow. Yeah, so it's better than. So it's that's why we like the concept of having it in the shop in the shopping center. At first, when I came, it was like why in the shopping center? Then it all clicked. 
you bring in non-collectors and see things generate interest for the community. Which is good. I, I think like normally the, the exhibition like the toy toy fair, they're having in like commission center. I think they're the same group of people. They're gonna buy ticket. Okay, for me, I, I, I think if you open it really to everyone, it's better for the brand, for us, for collectors, and for us, retailer, seller, or shop or brand. People can know more about it. And it's just, just like a group of collectors coming to see your stuff. It's like normal people can see it through it. And Ashley told me and Cos told me that they were totally happy for this event. Like, people that doesn't collect toys or doesn't know anything about toys can still be able to show them. That's right. And in the near future, they might be our customer in the future. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's what we're happy reason. about. I mean, it brings a lot because the community is at a standstill. Yeah. So, with you guys opening up to the general public without having to pay an entrance fee, people can wander around the shopping centre as well as looking at toys. I think that is a huge plus point. And hopefully more collectors in the future after coming to run and shows. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do. I think we're bringing... The thing that I never expected is that there were like a strong friend coming around. Not just like for JPX or for other friends like Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Indonesia, UK, Europe, Chicago, many, I think Korea. It's like, wow. It's surprising then they make friends here. Yeah. So the bond and the comedy is getting bigger, bigger, bigger. And that's what makes us like happy about it. And it keeps pushing us to be better, bigger and better. So, what's the plans for 2017 and beyond? What's your next goal? Because you've already put your target. You've already met the target. Um, I think we're trying to getting better, and better each year, and also we like to support our local artists. Like this is for time High School. We're trying to support local artists or like global artists that that, that they didn't have funding. Let's say they don't have funding to buy the food. We're trying to get them for free. For free next year. So they can have like an opportunity to show their product at the events. So if you hear this video, you can like contact to the Facebook message and then we can talk about it for future. So maybe we are gonna create like another band outside. Which I think honestly I never expected. It's gonna be it's crowded in the tent, but it's not crowded. So we're trying, next year we're gonna expand one more. So you're gonna have two tons, like one main and one. So it's gonna be like, with local Thai artists, we give them for free area. And for the future, I plan to have another area for, for free. But we're gonna have like limited, we like 20 artists with no funding. We hope we can make it. And I promise we're gonna support you there. So you can have an opportunity to come to see the how toy industry in Thailand and how people like toys in Thailand. So it's gonna be a, I never I, I I don't think others others if gonna give the free area. No. Uh there's one or two that would give a shared booth or something like that, but there's no I one. I think we we'll give like a one private table yeah. for it. Doesn't matter. We're gonna leave it in it. So I hope like if you have your skill, talent, you can show it to this event. We're gonna support. You. This is my work.
I don't like the concept that we designed the toy too, but before like take turn back like when we were young. I, 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 I go a boy kid, uh, like a student, as you are a student, like, you want to buy a robot for male, right? And female, I think, they like to buy like, a cute dog. So I came up with like, a kid who has a dream that he would like to have his own robot. Same as me, and then it's represented throughout my artist design. So we call it a bot. Because the reason we call it a bot is that the square shape. We try and like to persuade or hope that we can be like the inspiration for the future kids to go out to make a toy from like easy shape to become like a real action figure. So that's that's the concept that we have. Like normally, I think you have everyone have a dream that they wanna ride on a robot. So we make it into a toy. So that's the thing. And now we're giving four fans. Toy, okay, but I'm gonna check it out at Toy Chronicle Block. If four Q box wasn't enough, Chip Boy is gonna give away to one lucky fan. Well, I'm gonna give away this this one five star that we do with cars. So there's gonna be one lucky friend. I give it for free. So for the competition and the rules and the activity, you can check it out at twice. Block.